What would you say are the odds that you would be involved in a violent act at some point over the next 30 days? Would you say it would be one in 10, one in 100, one in 1,000, or one in 10,000? According to social psychologist George Gerbner, your answer would be directly related to the amount of media that you consume. And when we talk about media consumption, we're talking about some very broad things. We're talking about the amount of television you watch, the amount of cable television you watch, the amount of streaming television you watch, the amount of streaming movies you watch, the amount of streaming videos you watch, how much do you watch the news? How much do you stream the news? How much do you read the news? And how much do you interact with social media? Now, to my original question, if you had said one in 10,000, George Gerbner would probably classify you as a light user. However, if you said one in 10, one in 100, or one in the thousand, you would probably be classified as a heavy user and you would probably be suffering from what Gerbner calls the mean world syndrome. The mean world, mean world syndrome says, in a nutshell, that the more media you consume, the more violent you perceive the world to be. There's our connection to perceptions. Again, the more media you consume, the more violent you perceive the world to be. You see, for years and years and years, researchers suggested that watching violence on TV, watching violence in movies, participating in violence in video games, led people to violent acts. In other words, people would imitate the things they saw on television, the things they saw in movies, in video games, and commit violent acts themselves. But Gerbner broke from that tradition. Instead of imitating violence, people who consume a lot of media are fearful of violence being perpetrated against them. They live in a scarier world, hence the term mean world syndrome. So Gerbner's research was really simple. He basically separated people into categories of heavy consumers and light consumers and then had a lit, you know a, a series of surveys and his findings suggested that heavy media consumers are more fearful that they will be victims of violent crimes they are more afraid of things like walking around their neighborhood at night they believe that police activity in the community is far greater statistically than it actually is. And in general, people who consume a high amount of media distrust people. Now, what is the fallout? There is some fallout. There's some serious fallout. Kerbner suggests that people who suffer from the mean world syndrome become prisoners in their own homes. It changes the way they vote. People who suffer from the mean world syndrome are more likely to give up their rights and accept repression in the name of protection and security from this mean world, okay? They are more likely to support violence as a measure to combat the mean world and it changes the way people feel about themselves and it dramatically lowers the quality of life. So, you wanna ask yourself, am I suffering from the mean world syndrome? Am I fearful of the community around me? Am I fearful or do I have a distrust of society? And is it directly related to the amount of media I consume? I've included a couple more videos that will help articulate this theory. Uh, please check them out. And also, please 
answer those questions for discussion. I need them back to me by 10.30 this evening.